Good morning guys and um, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal. Today you're going to get to see my listings for the week, what I'm selling the stuff for and then at the end of the week I film what I've sold. Somehow I've lost Monday's video, it's been deleted so my introduction and what I listed Monday have been lost. Uh, so I'm redoing a little introduction now this morning to splice into the video. But you'll see everything from, I've listed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then my sales on Monday morning. So sorry you've lost uh, Monday morning's uh, introduction and listings, but I'll try harder next week. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys, to see what uh, what I've had up for sale. Okay, guys, so it's Tuesday morning. Uh, back to listing. Now, I've got six pieces I'm going to list today. I've already lost half the morning. I've had the baby year this morning. I've been to Slimming World and all the rest of it. So I got a few pieces here to show you now, and then I'm going to get them on quickly. So we got an early 20th century hollow champagne glass, hollow stem champagne glass. Um, it's probably 1910, 1920 to be totally honest with you. Uh, but a nice hollow stem champagne that's going to go on for about 12 to 15 pounds. I've got a really nice French bottle corker. So you'd put your bottle top there, lift the plunger, put your cork in, and in. And uh, that's a nice French piece. And oh, yeah, there you go. All stamped up on the back, which is nice. Now, it's had a bit of woodworm, but it is dead. When we check if it's dead, tap it. If dust falls out, it's still alive. So that's dead. I put in my pair of Darm Crystal Salts on today. Now I haven't looked at sold prices on these yet to see what others are selling them for, but without looking, I'm going to be looking for about £35-40 pound a pair. But we'll have a look. If there's others loads on there, then I'll drop the price slightly or raise it accordingly. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm looking for maybe 40 quid the pair of the Darm Crystal Salts. I've got a nice celluloid brooch. There you go. Beautiful little celluloid piece, celluloid early plastic. Uh, she's going to go on for about 15, 18 pounds. Um, I got a Swarovski crystal uh, paperweight or stand to, for the Harlequin set. And it's got the uh, swan, yep, yeah, it's got a swan stamp just there. You can just see that. So obviously the stamp you're looking for is the Block S in the earlier stamp. Again, about £25. And I've got a pair of 20th century Barley Twist Brass Candlesticks. Now this one's got a bit of verdigris coming through on it, but I'm going to leave that there because I think that's absolutely lovely with the character. But what they have got, it's quite unusually, is uh, I think it can only be described as Latin. Letters, letter there. They are symbols there. So really nice pair of candlesticks. They're a good weight as well. As I said before, Christmas is coming. And they're going on for about £25-30 pound for the pair. Nice pair of uh, candlesticks. So that's today's listing, guys. I shall give you an update on sales on Monday. And I'll keep going with the listings, hopefully. i got the baby down here all day tomorrow. So the likelihood of any listing is slim to nil. So the next uh, clip might be Thursday. We'll see. Good morning, guys. And before we go any further, I want to introduce you to my two beautiful daughters. They know me already. This is Shannon. She has been in previous videos. You can say hi. Hi. <laughs> Typical teenager. And this is the manager, Gracie Bell. Hey, say hello, baby. Look at this shirt. Antiques Arena manager. Is that cute or is that just cute? Okay, darling. So, Shannon and Gracie are in work today with me. Shannon uh, is moving schools, so she doesn't start school till Monday. So she's volunteered to come and help me today with Gracie, so I can do a little bit of work. Because otherwise, you wouldn't let Daddy work, would you, love? And there, say hi. Say hi. You gonna wave? Are you gonna wave? Are ah. oh, you beautiful, isn't it? So anyway, uh, let's get to showing you today's stock. Yeah, for a minute. We'll sit down on my chair. Six listings again today. 
Um, it's been, still been a slow week, but I'll tell you what sales I've had on Monday. First item of today, we have a standard Whitefriars Bark Vase. It's got the polished pontil, uh, typical Baxter piece. It's got this textured effect in a ruby. And uh, that's going to go on for about £35. I have a vintage rolling pin. Real nice uh, wooden one. Don't ask me what the wood is, guys. Um, it's going to go on for about £12 or £15. It's a nice quality uh, vintage rolling pin. I have a signed Bristol Blue paperweight. The colour on this is stunning. Look at the colour. It is signed Bristol. So it's not an old one, but it's a nice one and it's got uh, a memorial on the front. So that's a nice one. So that's going to go on for about £15 again. Or maybe 18 with an offer. I got a nice hand painted Arthur Wood Art Deco jug. Now, well, some of you will like it, some of you won't. It's got these kingfishers here with the fish. Is it fish? It looks like a fish. Nah, either way, you've got a kingfisher there. Um, there is an animal way to it, and there is loads of crazing. But at the same time, it is, it is what it is. 25 quid. Take an offer if somebody comes in a bit cheaper. So be it. This, I'm very shocked, hasn't sold in the shop. It's really good quality. And I had £30 on it. So you got a really nice Victorian brass um, saucepan with an iron, wrought iron? Yeah, wrought iron handle. Nice copper pins, rivets. It's a really nice pan. It weighs a ton. Shocked it hasn't sold. And lovely patina on the handle. So that's going to go on to eBay now. Um, it was on for 30 years, so I put 35 on it on eBay and um, take an offer of about 25 to 30 quid. I won't go under that, that's really nice. To be honest with you, it might even be underpriced. My final piece for today's video is one I said I was going to keep, but I got no room for it in my collection. It is this Russian bust of a child? Looks like a child. Child or young lady sitting there almost in a thinker pose. Now it helps, it has all the Russian labels underneath, the USSR label. And I'm thinking, I haven't looked yet to see if there's any comparable on. If I go online and there's others on there for 30 quid and so on, so be it. But I'm thinking somewhere like 50 quid, 55 quid. But we'll see what happens. If I go on there and there's some cheaper, then I'll match their prices. But it's a lovely item and it's in good condition. It's a nice bit of uh, sculpted art. So that's my six items for today. Um, shockingly, I got no parcels to pack this morning. Uh, but it's going to be a challenge listing these six, wrapping them up with my uh, two beautiful daughters in the shop today. But I am privileged to have the company. <laughs> you can hear her mouth in already, can you? Typical teenager. <laughs> um, <laughs> are they to love me? No, no. She's sitting in, I'm going. <laughs> Guys, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's um, Thursday morning. Uh, we're working our way through the week. I'm going to show you today's listings. I bought an entire collection of Lorna Bailey ceramics, paid 250 quid from if you watch the video in the week. And I'm going to spend the morning listing all these online. Now, majority of them are limited edition. They're all hand painted. Most of them are limited edition, numbered, and so forth. Now, giving you my prices, I'm going to be £95 on this one, 95 on this one. This one here is probably going to be about 60, 65. I've got a selection of sugar sifters, 
This one here is going up for 75. Now I'm setting my prices and I'll wait for offers because some people have sold them a bit cheaper, some have had some serious good money for them, but you know what, they're limited edition, they just ain't the quantity out there for the amount of collectors. Another beautiful sifter and another, they're going to be about 55 each. I absolutely love this one. But what it says on the back is, the first limited edition of the Lorna Bailey Collectors Club Hill House. The first limited edition. But don't tell me that's not going to be worth money. I'm going to put that up for 75 Another sugar sifter is going to go up for about £55. I've got a little jug here which is going to go up for about £30, £25 to £30, doesn't seem anything too special. Um, I've got a pair of cruet set, salt and pepper, so you've got the multiple holes here, the single hole there, the limited edition, only a hundred of them ever made. Now if you watched my film in the week, there was a pair of these sold for 30 quid, but there wasn't another pair available period, and I think they well underpriced them. The gentleman who uh, bought these originally from the Collectors Club paid £100-£150 for them. So I'm going to be up about £75 for these. Um, they can sit there till someone wants them. They really can. I don't care. And then, I have the final piece for today, I'm hoping to get it all on today, is this Lorna Bailey plaque. So that's a really nice job lot that's going to amount to a lot of money, probably about £700 worth of asking price, give or take. So that's today's listing. I'm only here half day today. The baby has uh, water babies and I do swim in with the water baby. She goes underwater and everything is so cool. Uh, so it's half day today, one o'clock I can be shut. So I've got to list that lot by one o'clock. I've got a couple of parcels to do and well, serving customers and everything as well. So hopefully I'll get them done. So, fingers crossed. Sales side on eBay has been very slow again for me so far this week, but we'll see how the rest of the week and the weekend pans out. And I'll film it again on uh, Monday morning and give you my sales updates so you can see what I've sold and what I haven't. Um, I'm not sure what I'll list tomorrow yet, but stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, it's Friday afternoon and... Um, I've just listed half a dozen pieces now. I'm going to show you what I've listed. Uh, it's the last of this week's listings. Um, it's a bit of a mixture. Start off. We have a English crystal or cut glass tankard, probably a half pint tankard, produced by Roald Dalton. It's got the label and the signature. Never trust just a label, especially if you're dealing with Waterford or something of the higher price because people will nick a label and stick it on. So be careful, always check for the signature. This is signed as well on the base. I've listed that for £12, no offers. It's just up to £12. We have an English spelter figure of La Col Porteur. So it is what it is, it says on the tin. Is he a newspaper seller or something looking at him? And your stamp made in England on the back. And I've put that up for £25. Got quite a nice look on him. I actually like this look with the paint as flaked off. It's quite a nice look. We have this English porcelain Worcester um, wall pocket or wall vase. That mount on your wall there and you'd have this little vase here. Now bear in mind it's got two tiny chips. One there and one there. They are described in there. Now, I can date this to the exact year it was done, basically off the DOT system. Um, they introduced it in, 19, uh, in 1891, so 1892 would have one DOT, 1893, two DOTs, and so forth. This has got six DOTs on either side, which would make it 1903, so 12 DOTs in total. 
the 358 is the shape number. Now I've put that on for 25. In perfect condition, I would have probably put it up for 55. 45, 55, something like that. Um, I started grouping some of my drinking glasses, some of my less valuable ones. So I've put on three Bristol Green on this Cranberry um, as one group. So that's gone on as a lot. Now there used to be a time these used to pull money, but now you're lucky to get three or four pound a glass. This one's probably worth more, probably seven or eight pound a glass, but I've put the group of four on for 20 quid with offers. If somebody comes in at 15 quid or so, they're gonna take them. I literally pick them up these days for a pound each when I pick them up, or even 50 pence. I've listed my David Lloyd George um, Majolica plate, and he was the Liberal uh, Prime Minister. So, that's listed. I want to thank everybody who helped me identify him. I didn't have to even do research. I put him in the whole video, and half a dozen of you all said, that's David Lloyd George. Saved me so much work and hassle. Mwah, thank you very much. Appreciate that. My final lot I've listed today is quite an interesting one. I have two books. I'll show you them separately. And they have their original box that they came in with all the labels, which is nice. From the National Union of Railway Men. Look at that. You can't ask for better than that, can you? And basically, it is the Martyrs of Toll Puddle. And it's the story of how the trade union was created. Now they sentenced seven uh, sentenced men to seven years of transportation labour for creating the union. So we have this book. It is worn. The book itself is okay, but the covers are a bit worn. And then I have this smaller book that comes with it. Nicely illustrated. Um, well, this is pretty much the same title except this is the centenary uh, commemoration so both books got a bit of weight I've put them on for 35 the pair um, now when I went online and had a look there was one listed for £51 there was a single sold for a tenner they also reprinted this book very recently and they're selling brand new copies of this book for a tenner well, I think £35, with it in that condition, with that label on it, it's got to be worth that sort of money. So to me, that's what I'm after. £35. So we've got um, 25 50 75 85 100 About £130 worth of listings gone on today, guys. So fingers crossed, we'll see what that uh, results in sales now over the weekend. And I'll give you an update on Monday morning. Okay, guys. Um, good morning. It's Monday morning. And I have the uh, boss in work with me. Say hello, beautiful. She's in work with me this morning. Any babes? Hello. So she's, uh, she's here keeping an eye on me today. So just finishing off the video, guys. These are my souls for the week. On request, I've covered up the uh, username of the people. Unfortunately, that does cover up part of the title, but um, I will do my best so you can see everything, okay? It's the best I can do. It's either that or you see the usernames. The usernames are not really a bother to me. Anyway, we have Harmony Wayside Hummel Figurine. I sold for £12. I have a Jeffrey Baxter Whitefriars. Hey, madam. You let me talk. Good girl. We have a Jeffrey Baxter Whitefriars Ruby Glass Vase. I sold for £27.50. We have this Atlantis Crystal Decanter with a solid silver collar that I purchased um, a few weeks back in Bessemer. I sold that for 45 I have this Arita with hand-painted Japanese porcelain deer bowl. And I sold that for 85 I have this Swedish glass hooped vase, a cedar. And I sold that for 22 The miniature Davy lamp sold for 24 
I put that one on auction, guys. It's, it reached twenty-four pound. And this nineteen eighties coracle is a it's a brass version of a Welsh boat, an early Welsh boat. It sold for twelve. So adding all that up, it's give or take a few quid. I think it's just over two hundred pound for the week again. Still a quiet week, but the sales are there or thereabouts. Let me move that off there. Just a second. Hang on. Bear with me, guys. There we go. That was the Arita Japanese bowl. Beautiful looking thing. I was asking 145, I took 85. But as you know, it came in very cheap at Get the Gear Car Boot Sale. Okay, so you got to see all my listings last week. You got to see all my sales for last week. I'm not 100% on how this week's going to turn out. I'm closed all day tomorrow, so I won't be doing no listings tomorrow. I've got a baby in the shop with me today, as you can hear that. Hey, beautiful. Love ya. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be doing no listings today. Well, if I do, I'm hoping Jane will pick it up now about 1 o'clock, and then I'll give me two or three hours just to sneak half a dozen listings in later on if i do i will film them but i don't know how many days filming i'm going to get in this week for the listing of the items so <laughs> fingers crossed on the sales at the end of the week but uh, either way you've had a look at this week's uh, listings and sales hopefully they've helped you i know as a lot of subscribers have said can we please see what you're listing what you're selling so we have an idea what to sell ourselves on what's going so if these videos are helping you guys i'm really glad Guys, that's it. I'm going to leave it there for today's video. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.